Well, this is my on-the-fly uh, demonstration how to use Compass and how to write in it and get material saved so that you can print it. it there are multiple steps. First of all, in, in Compass, it's a communication app. It's really not meant for writing, but you can still write in it. So we can uh, do some writing. I'll go, I'll think that's a good one to think about with the television set. Who knows? The toy. There we go. I'll think with the toy. One of my more epic uh, literary expertise uh, things. Crap. Whatever. But now you want to save this and print it. There's no button that's pre-made and so what I would recommend that you do is you go to edit and controls and in edit and controls we've got some blank spaces here that can be utilized. I'm going to add a save and I'm going to add a load feature and then we'll deal with the rest of it. So to start out with we're going to select the triangle in the upper right corner and we're going to select modify. Once I do that I can select my cell and that comes up and this one I'm going to make save. Oh, and of course I got to remember that I'm using my keyboard in front of me, not my other keyboard. Save file. Whoops. There we go. Name that. Pretty nice. You can call it anything you want. We're not going to have it say anything, so there's no reason to have a message there. But we'll want to do something in the actions area. And this is where we can control quite a bit of what goes on with the Compass app, but I'm interested in looking at the message window and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find that somewhere way down here is a save as, save text as. So it's right there and I added it. I select done and my button is is complete and to make it fully complete I in the upper right corner I hit that little checkbox and lo and behold I can save my file. So if I select that file and now I have to select my user data and I'm going to call this Jim3214. I, I don't know what that means, but it's something special. And then OK. And it will save my file. And because I'm really bold, I'm going to clear out my file because I can do that. I want to make a load button now, so I'm going to go back up to the upper right corner, select that triangle, select modify, select my cell, call this one load, uh, might as well call it load file, hit OK, go to my actions tab here, or my actions area, and go back to message window, this time it is load by the way, uh, sometimes they call open, but it, this one is load, and it's load text. Added that here. I select done, and I'm good to go, and I select my checkbox in the upper right corner, and there I have it. And so if I want to load a file, it takes me right back to my three options. There's my one that I recently did. It was a, a banner bit of work. So loading and saving from the pod is uh, is nice but what do we do when we have to retrieve those stories I'm going to stop and uh, get re reordered but for for now we custom made a save and a load button so that anything that anybody writes up here um, we can save it and we can load it and edit it at a later date